right, let's try this again. I lost my Wi-Fi connection there for a minute. Sorry about that. All right, let's see here. Let me just pin this again. Okay. And let's hope that we can keep our connection this time. Okay. So we're just going to do a beachy quick look today um, because, as you can tell from the title, with Beachfront, I have a few new items that I think everybody's going to love. And one is the Beachfront Kissed. Hi, Carolyn. So happy you're here. So this is my, like, favorite right now, and I've only used it once. This is um, the co Cocoa or Cocoa. I'm not quite sure how you say it. Uh, the coconut is already gone. There's also a Paradise one, I believe it's Kiwi, and I have that one ordered as well. My lips are super, super soft with this, so I'm going to put it on for moisture. So I already have my eyebrows on, my BB cream, and my primer. So these right here, and I used for my brows today the new, well new to me, new Precision Brow Liner in Medium, and I also used my palette and blonde so with that out of the way we could get a little bit more done at a quicker rate so I'm just gonna go ahead and oh no my stick broke this is what I get I break everything all right we're just gonna fix it real quick it's all right everything's fixable all right so we're just gonna take this I'm gonna bring the light color underneath my eyes and I don't really need too much of it today because I'm going to use more of the bronzer look. <clears throat> but I do want to lighten up underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take my powder concealer brush. You can also use um, a blending bud, whatever, you know, feels good on your face or what you want to do, whatever preference. Um, sometimes I just feel... This is easier to get a bigger surface area. So I'm just going to put that in here. This brush, guys, I'm telling you, it has changed my life. I have a gazillion brushes, and this and my blending brush are my go-to. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. Oh, wait, I forgot my nose. This is just going to give that lighter look. I don't know if you can see. I might need better light in here for dark circles or anything that makes you look tired. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. All right. Finally got my shade in Hermosa. So now we're finally going to probably be able to see my contour. I'm just going to take a brush that I already had and I'm going to use this for my bronzer. And there we go. Let's put that right around anywhere that you would even use a contour stick, but I didn't use one today. I just wanted to make this quick and easy, just for an on-the-go, bronze beachy look. I like to blend it right down. And by getting your jawline, like, right through here, that helps the contour to give you a more slimming look. So... Whenever you want to make this look like a smaller area, the more you contour here, and I always suggest blending it down, is going to give you that very slim face look. Okay. Sorry, I'm messing with the lights, trying to get the best... Just add a little where you want that to really stand out. So you want to come right down 
underneath your cheekbones. So if you were to make your fishy face, that's where your contour is going to go. That's anything that is your darker color in shades. And now I have the Beachfront Kiss. This is from our line. There's also, um, oh no, that was last month. I don't think they're going to sell that together anymore. But they have, a lot of these are sold out. Um, like the lip glosses came in this. Um, this is part of the Beachfront lip glosses. This is um, a gold shimmer to use for a highlight. So I'm going to take a smaller brush here. All right, yay, we're back. Okay. So I'm just going to take this, and you don't need a lot at all, so just kind of tap it in. And this is going to go right above where you just put that on. So just add this color right here. I'm going to try to do this quickie, quickie quick before I lose connection again. <laughs> okay. Put that right above. You can see that shine, and don't worry, we're not going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead in a second and blend that out with a powder. I'm going to just grab my brush that I used before and sharpen up that contour underneath just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to take we're going to come back to that part in a minute. I'm going to grab a splurge cream. These are great, especially when you don't want to deal with a lot of powders or um, anything that could be messy and you want to do something really quick. These come in these little, I call them like a paint pot, and they have millions of different colors. I have a couple more that I've already ordered, but this one is in Extravagant, and this is like a kind of an orangey gold color. So I thought that would go nice with the beachfront look. And I'm going to just grab a I'm all over the place today. I apologize. I lost my other brush. This is what I mean. I just have too many brushes. Okay. All right, this will work. You just want something that has a flat end to it, like this, just something small. And this is our um, liner, <clears throat> liner shader brush that we have. So you're just going to dip it in very lightly because you don't need too, too much. I always say start with a little bit. You can always add more, but it's much harder to take off. And you're just going to kind of take this kind of move in a little bit closer here and put this I'm gonna put this right on my eyelid and just kind of blend and I'm not really pulling it I'm kind of just patting it on and you can build the color for whatever you want I don't know if this light is helping or not that's fine okay so then like I said it's easier to go ahead and you can add more and I'm just gonna pop some more color right on there a very spongy smooth texture which is really nice and this is gonna dry so it goes on kind of creamy but it's gonna dry to a powder so I don't know can you see the difference between the two and like I said if you want to add more and we're gonna blend that out and I'm gonna put a color just above the crease line a little bit there just so it'll blend together so we're gonna go ahead and do this eye. Like again, I'm just kind of patting it on. Because we're going to blend it out in just a minute. And I like to come above. Everybody's eyes are a little different, but I like to come above, like right here on this outer corner, so that when my eyes are open, I want it to be. A much more open look because I don't want my eyes to look like they're closed I want my eyes to look open so I'm just gonna bring that up just on that outer corner just a little bit kind of round it out 
and then do the same thing over here just to make sure that it's even. And I just brought it up a little bit higher so when my eye is open, you can still see it there. I purchased a kudos kit for the month, which has our new lip plumping. Well, we have five new shades. They do have it from before, but it's lip plumping lip glosses. So we have the original still, and then there's five new colors, which are actually named after five presenters that won a competition. So they had makeup products named after them. And they are limited edition only. So when they're gone, they're gone. So I purchased one of the Kudos kits. So you get a Epic Mascara. You're going to get um, one of these splurge creams of your choice. So you're going to get a splurge cream, an Epic Mascara, and then you're going to get one of those limp plumping glosses. Hi, Kristen. Um, I don't have the lip plumping glosses yet to show, but I have two on the way. So I bought one by itself and then one with the kit. So that's a great purchase. It's $58. It's a steal. The mascara by itself is $24, and these, I believe, are $26. So, okay. So this is kind of dried already onto my eyes. I just added the splurge cream and extravagant. And I'm going to go ahead and take our light color and discreet. It's right here on the end. It's just kind of like a very light pink, almost has a, um, it has a matte finish to it. So that means there's no sparkle. And I'm just going to go right in with my shader brush. And you don't need a lot of it. I always say once you get it on like this, just kind of tap them off a little bit if you don't want an excess amount. And I'm going to go right in between and kind of blend into what I just did. Just so that we have something that blends and the lines won't look harsh. And we're not really going to go on top of the color we did. We're just going to go right above it right here and just kind of blend that out. And you don't have to push hard. Just let the brush do the work for you. That's what it is for. We're going to go to the other side. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, and then we're just going to do the same thing here. Just keep blending, blend, 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 blend. And you can go right up underneath your brow. I have the very light color when I did my eyebrows. This, oops, pink color that's right here. You can see it. I use that underneath, so there's already kind of something in there to separate the color. So just blend. If you're not blending, you're not doing something right. Blending is key. So just keep blending. Windshield wiper back and forth like this. And if you need like a different area, like where I did the outside a little bit more so it would stick out, just kind of do a circular motion. And just blend that out. Okay. So that's done because we're keeping it easy. Just two items on the eyes. I'm going to go in with our eyeliner, which I just sharpened. So it's a little off. I don't need to be getting eyeliner all over the place. And this I'm going to put in my tight line and my water line. So I'm going to do the water line down here first. And if you don't want to bring it all the way in, you can always do a halfway, like from here to here. It's all about your preference. And then I'm going to go right into the tight line above There we go. Aw, thanks, babe. Okay, and I'm really loving this color. I've actually always been more about the black eyeliner. And ever since I got this brown, I would say it's more of a medium brown. To me, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not like a set brown. It's called proper. This has been like my go-to eyeliner. Okay, so that eye is all set. We're going to move on to this one. And I'm not really pulling. I'm just very lightly right through here. And do this one. Now, 
All right. Make sure we're even. And that is that. So I'm not even going to do any kind of blush or anything. Um, I'm going to take our powder that we have here, and this is just the pressed powder. This is in the color Poplin. I'm just going to take, oops, sorry, shaking everything there, just a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go around what I did. And you're still going to be able to see my highlight and my contour, but we're just making it more subtle. And this, instead of giving it a dewy finish, is going to give it a little bit of more of a matte finish. And go over the eyebrows a little bit so everything blends together. Throw on some Epic Mascara. And the look is done. And this is the same as everything. All of our makeup is buildable. Get right down to your lash line. And the great thing is most all of the makeup, well, it's not probably in the mascara, but it is um, mineral-based. Throw it on your bottom lashes a little if you want. If not, that's fine too. Right into your lash line. That lash line is going to give you a nice wide awake open look. And as you're doing this, you can roll up or pull up, whatever you want, but just it's going to lengthen your lashes and it's going to curl them at the same time. It's a miracle lashes in a bottle. You can still add falsies on if you want. I don't even need them when I use this because it's buildable and I can just make them as long as I want by just adding another coat. And there it is. Take my hair down now so it doesn't need to be in the way. I always have to move it. And that is it. That is our quick and easy beachy look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, leave me a comment. If you're doing this on the replay and you missed it, hashtag something, give me a smiley face, anything at all, leave a question. I'll get back to anybody that has any questions at all. My website is pinned at the bottom, so feel free if you have any questions or want to know about anything that I use today. Everything that I have on is a unique product, and thanks again. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.